Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of European Universalis 4. We are Croatia, an independent and slightly embiggened Croatia over here. We have successfully broken away from our personal union with Hungary, uh, and took a little bit of, uh, a little piece of Hungary with us as we left. Uh, so we do have the extra territory over here. It is going to be culturally Hungarian, which I suspect we'll probably go and accept. Once it's court, we can't court until then. Um, but because I think cultural changes are probably going to take a little too long to do there. And likely we're going to be eating more bits of... Well, hold on. How much Hungarian culture is there, actually? No, it's probably better to just accept it. I was like, maybe it's just worth converting, but nah. Nah. Um, so, yes, it just happened. We're going to wait for some of these... Um, uh, rivalries to shake out. I suspect something will get shifted around. We'll give it We'll give it a little bit before we go and, um, and accept. I mean, we don't want to take the hit to our power projection here, but we can, we can afford to take a micro hit just to see what shakes out. Because I would hate to rival something and then have other people rival us. Because I want to rival the people who rival us. <clears throat> Hungary has announced... Alright. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. I do not disagree. So we're going to do that. Who wants to break Poland? Because not enough trust. <laughs> Why is that? That we don't have their trust. Our relationship is great. Is it because we're just too new? I don't think we've done anything to lower any trust. It is interesting that we do have the 50 with Lithuania, the 30 with Poland, and the 30 over here with Bohemia. Maybe it's because we're new, because like, should I give them territory? Maybe they had claims. Mm, no, I don't see any stripey dues. Maybe if I'd given them something in the peace deal? But I mean, I never promised them land. So I actually don't know why that is this way. Yeah, it might be nice to do some curry favors. Um, let's pull back with uh, you. It might be nice to do some curry favors but, to get trust, but it, it probably won't happen in time to be relevant. <clears throat> More we lose all of our decent allies, then we're going to get declared on by someone strong. It's not like we're sitting on infinite manpower right now. Oh, hold on. They also hate that we're allied to Bohemia. Yeah, okay. I didn't realize that they, these two hate each other. Fair, I guess. I mean, the trust thing is still annoying, but I guess that was probably going to break at one point anyway. All right, our new troops are coming in over here. Money is good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, Poland broke the alliance. How about Bohemia? I mean... Yeah. I'm going to stop creating favor with Poland. We still have a royal marriage. But that's not really going to help us right now. I mean, they still like us. They just don't trust us. I think this is going to go up naturally over time, right? As long as you're allied or subject. But I wonder if it... Does it boost up beyond 30? <clears throat> I'm assuming... Yeah, we got a base of 50. It must be because we didn't give them something in the war. Or something weird like that. But I don't know. I don't remember encountering this before. But maybe it's because normally when I'm going to war, I'm going to war with people who are my allies, um, and we've probably built up trust. So I might be, we might be taking a trust hit by not giving them stuff in a war, but probably doesn't matter because we had a buffer. I'm going to need to send you back to protecting trade in Ragusa. I could also go and build some extra um, light ships over here, but I don't think it's going to do much for our trade power. And again, this trade node's not yet crazy valuable. So I'm just going to save it for now. We'll have emergency fund for troops. In addition to whenever this pops, I can quickly build some churches, which should be fairly helpful. I think we can... Yeah, I was going to say, I can summon the Viet over here. Now, if I, so, if I seize land now, it would be bad. But if I do this... If I gave the nobility a tiny bit more, if we went here... 75% manpower. Well, that would be nice. If I take it, does it boost us immediately? No. <clears throat> And it'll fail if we're at war. So if we get declared on, it'll fail that, which is annoying. Stability 3 is pretty rough. 15% or more trade power in Ragusa. What's our current 
6%. Oh, these are hard. A little less than zero. This will fail. Well, I don't think it's got a fail condition. Failing will have the following effects, yeah, but it doesn't say what will fail it, other than expiring, okay, in 20 years. We have 20 years to do this, but they all have those time limits. Stability 3 is brutal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe I do just take this one. Because actually, it might, I mean, we don't have to do anything for a manpower to reserve, other than just sit around and do nothing. I mean, if I hadn't built these troops, well, if I hadn't built the troops, they probably wouldn't have put in the same demand. Okay, I'm going to put this in. I'm not planning on starting a war. Um, we've got some aggressive expansion to burn off, like we, because we were right at our limit of aggressive expansion. So we got to wait for that to shake out. Uh, we want to make sure our country is is stable. Um, we're gonna be wanting to spend the min stuff on tech um, instead of more coring for a little bit, probably. Ah, goddamn Bohemia! Okay, what am I for relationships? Three or four, yeah, which is annoying because I still have the marriages. Uh, oh, Naples will come on board. Okay, let's get Naples. We may have to go over a relationship limit a bit just because we've got these royal marriages that aren't... Oh, Naples is being eaten. <clears throat> I didn't realize that. Well... Serbia is going to hate us regardless over here. Um, or Bosnia, because I have claims all over Bosnia and Venice. What I should do is I should rival Bosnia. They don't hate us as much. But we have much more reason to go to war with them, and that'll give us some power projection. So we'll go ahead and do that. We do have an idle diplomat. I'm not sure what we want to do with. Rington's gonna. We could consider an extra. You know what? I might want to grab a military guy. Although I want the buildings. Hold on. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold off for now. I want the buildings to improve our economy first. We're sitting in farmland. Can I sit? Hmm. Not really. Not for the rebel busting. Ah, uh, there we go. Bohemia. That is a shame. I guess maybe I should... Well, I am currying favors over here. When I get to 10, I can increase trust, and then maybe I can get it back. And maybe I should be doing that over here as well. Although, there's always going to be the issue because of the um, the mutual rival thing. But let's go ahead and work on currying favors these guys. Maybe we can go and get a trust boost and then get an alliance going again. Maybe... Because I think if we spend favors, we get 10 trust. I don't know if it says it here. 10 favors, 5 trust. It'll be, I don't know if 35 is enough to get out of the distrust range. Like, it might be in thirds, or it might mean 40%. I don't know. I mean, I could look it up, but we're going to find out in a second anyway. Well, I, I'll probably just keep improving, keep carrying favors over here. And what do we work on here? Brandenburg, which seems like a decent idea. Gift to the state. Ducats, prestige. Donate it to poor for more prestige. I don't have a prestige mission, and prestige is useful, and I like hitting the unique buttons. Um, why are we losing money all of a sudden? That's not much money. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to take the prestige, because it's a special event. Minus 10%. Alright, let's hit this before, while well, the year's already ticked by. I don't think our discount's going to get any better. So we'll go ahead and do this. Maybe I should have taken the trade mission, because it's probably worth building the marketplace in Rajika. Actually, Varazdin. Oh, just... Oh, it's over here. Um, I should actually check. What are the trade zones here? Uh, Varazdin is in the pest trade node. We don't have a lot of power, and I'd have to put a merchant... Oh, I already have a merchant collecting trade over here. Okay, it might be worth building in both. I think it's a no-brainer to build it um, in Rajika here for the reducing trade node. 
Whether or not it's worth it in Varsden, I don't know. There's not infinite amounts of money in past. I mean, it's a little bit more in Rue. All those are pretty low. I think that, um, I, I think I like the idea of building this one, because it should be better value. Uh, but I think otherwise I'm going to save up and just wait for the temples next. Yeah, I think I'm pleased with this. Cores are coring, which will help our country dramatically once we're cored. We're going to have um, tons more money, because right now in, like we, we're getting a Malister trade route stuff too, right? In these in the non-local nodes. Yeah, right over here, trade power. Minus 58%. I think it's only in that one. I don't think it's in the, our home one. The Ragusan... Trade note, where are we? Uh, oh, there we are. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't affect us there. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, our economy will help there. Plus, I mean, just having our country stable. Lose legitimacy, lose prestige. I'll lose legitimacy. We don't want to go too much lower here. But it is currently growing. It should be okay. So we are at... You got eaten again. Okay. It's like, hold on. How are, how are we not at 4-4 four, four relations? We should probably pursue another alliance. <clears throat> None of those are terribly structured. I mean, Alma, of course, is a giant power, but... Hmm. Good states, how are you? Oh, yeah. Veneration of the Virgin Mary. More Reform Desire, Papal Influence. Um, no, we're quite a happy with Reform Desire, because we are planning, I think, on a not going Catholic. As discussed, I think I want to play with either Protestant or Reformed. We'll see. So, I mean, Protestant's his first, so maybe we'll just grab that and we'll get a center of um, Reformation over here. I don't know, it just sounds like fun. It's, it's kind of completely arbitrary here. But, you know, sometimes that's what leads to the most fun. Okay, well, looking here. I mean, our our monarch power is actually pretty good for everything except military, which I could put it here to balance it out. I mean, certainly before there's a war, we want to make sure we get these military tactics. You know, I kind of think this is a good idea. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Balance these out a little bit. Yeah, I'm I'm pleased with this now. I mean, I guess the sooner maybe I could have waited until I got my um, admin tax so I could build the temples a little sooner for for money, but. These rebel factions are definitely growing. We should be able to fight them. I mean, if they popped at the same time, it would be awkward. But thus far, they are going to be smaller than our current troops, so that's going to be okay. We don't have a fantastic general, but we'll do okay. Uh, corruption is growing because we are um, we are overextended. So we're spending a little bit of money to balance it out. All right, let's go up to speed four. I guess I don't need my forts up right now. I could lower them. I mean, I already had the capital fort down. I could lower this until these guys get a little closer, so we can save a few more bucks. But I don't want them taking over the fort and then me have, like, they take it over for free, but then I would have to do a real siege to take it, which would be very annoying. Here come the cores! Well, one anyway. Oh, two! Bum, 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 bum. Make a state. Um... I mean, ultimately, yes. Oh, yeah, there's the concentrate development. Channel development from Serbia into our needs. The state will lose two development, but much of the development will lost will end up in our capital. Some will be distributed among other states. Some will be lost. Total will gain one development. Wait. So that, and does that mean we're going to net one development? So we're going to lose two from Serbia, but end up with three everywhere else. Um, I need to double check on this. I know that for a while, like right at release of Leviathan or whatever, this was like super duper abusable. I, I think that has been patched. I don't, I think we end up with a net loss here, right? I think we lose two, gain one. So we end up with a net loss of one. But you can see how you could parse this to, well, is it saying we have a net gain of one? I don't think that's the case. So I don't think we're eager to hit those buttons, but we shall see. Uh, oh, we can convert these provinces. That's going to take a long time. Hmm. Okay, it's expensive to replace people. There's going to be some more conversion, I think, to do. We're going to do this. We're spending the 15. But we're going to save 70 months. I mean, yeah, it's a net loss here. Ah! 
No, because it was like 100 months, wasn't it? So we're saving about uh, 70 months? So 70 times 40% of 70, so it's a little less than half. Is that like 30 ducats? I'm, I'm sure I'm mathing that wrong, but you know. May, but apparently it may not have been the bad of a move, move as I thought, especially since I do want to convert this stuff. Milano is the seat of a cardinal, good for them. Yeah, so we're not really going to get involved over here, and we're going to be very happy with anything that increases the reform desire of Catholicism. Marketplaces, yes, but... Money fluctuation is kind of funny. War reps are certainly making a big difference. Huge difference. Any player with diplomatic reputation opinion. Right, so higher diplo rep I have, the better it works, and also the higher opinion they have of us, the better it'll work. You are not willing, and you're actually pretty far away. Oh, you have too many diplomatic re re relations, so I'm actually gonna cancel that. We are gonna grab this. And then we are going to be looking to build the church. Yeah, and Lyco, that'll be pretty good. We'll build one in Rejeka as well, which will be decent once we get that money. Oh, there we go. You're, hold on. 31! And now you're willing to do the alliance? So 30 was a minus 1,000. 31 is totally okay. Oh, right, you're gonna hate me because of Bohemia. I forgot about that. So, there's almost... Cancel those. The favors, I think, stick around. I don't think they decay. I'm gonna keep working on Bohemia here. What I'll do is I'll um, max... Oh, that's Poland. I'll max out the relations with uh, Bohemia again. Just because it'll help the modifiers. And then we can still maybe boost trust or... I don't know, maybe I can just sit on the 10 or something like that and call that good enough. Okay. Um... Out of curiosity, anyone else looking for alliances at France? I mean, this is gonna tie, uh, pull me into a ton of different games and things like that. Sorry about the the Gmail bong. That was me on my end. Don't have to check yours. Um, but yeah, no, this seems like a pretty good idea. Mm -hmm. And then we'll royal marry them, I think, afterwards. And now all of a sudden, I'm feeling much more secure. Too bad I never got the Ottoman attack dog, but the French attack dog will work as well. A little French bulldog. God, the French Bulldogs are so goddamn cute. Alright, done, done, done. This trust is fine over here. I suppose I could set up some curry favors over. Which is not a bad idea in preparation for... Um, for war stuff. Prep for war, and also with 10 favors, they'll join our offensive wars, right? There we go. We just had 10 over here, but I probably don't want to spend it. We're going to want to sit on those favors. So the question now is, do I want to keep developing favors with Bohemia, or do I want to start just making friends with other random people? Wow, that's a lot of money we can get. Oh, to his heir. Now you need. Why do you have a valid heir? In exchange for installing a member of our dynasty as their heir. Oh! Well, that does take a lot of favors, but we can do the Diplo shenanigans. Diplo marriages are, like, well, you set up our dynasty over there, and then it, it, it can be set up for, like, um, yeah, the junior partnerships and things. Interesting. I think, well, I'll stop improving relations. Um, at least. I think I'll stop the curry, fl curry flavors as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deploy a couple of diplomats. I'm going to keep the one in France here. But I'll go ahead and automate um, threatening countries. You know what? I'm just going to double down on threatening countries. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the rebels are still brewing. My forts are still down. But when they get to 80, I'll probably try to flip them. Uh, to turn my forts on. Because it can happen quickly. Um, that's five years of national unrest being higher, which is a pain in the ass. Because we have, like, separatism things going on over here, but... 
I might want to keep the prestige. Normally it would be an easy peasy decision, but. No, I'll take the prestige hit here. It might be just too difficult to deal with. It helps a lot when the overextension goes down, but we still have all the separatism. Okay, we're at 80 on some of these. Yeah, see, with the rebel uprising being threatened. So, for safety, well, not the capital, but I will raise the fort here, because this is a place where unrest can happen. And I don't want them pooping up over there. Ideally, we'd like to do the conversion here, too, but that is going to be quite a bit slower and more expensive. Because Belgrade has good development with the 10 here. And at some point, the centers of conversion, I think they will convert the Orthodox as well. Like, if we take the Protestant Center of Reformation, or whatever, will it do that, or does it only target Catholic provinces? I think it does everything. So we might just, you know, sit on this one for a while. I think there's going to be some more conversions we have to do in these places. That'll probably be a little cheaper and easier, so... Bum, 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 bum. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, rebels are about to poop out, but that's going to be fine. Um, I was going to check, we'll probably... Oh, actually, above our force summit? Why is that? Did I miscount one time and hit an extra button? But I don't. I was going to check to see if coring increased the number of uh, increased our force limit. But I was going to say I didn't want to build it anyway because I want to get back up to seventy-five percent manpower, if at all possible here. So these guys are still going to pop. Hopefully, it's not simultaneous. But we shall see. So I mean, we may as well state these. you see the cost anywhere ahead of time? For those. Okay, then we'll wait before we do any more. There we go. I fixed our force limit. 100%. Truce has just ended. Oh, that was the, the first war we ended. Okay. It is annoying that they both popped at exactly the same time. Here, we will have the benefit of defense, because of the fort, and we will lose anyway. What? It went too fast for me to be able to see what the heck was going on. But what? can. I don't know. I was gonna say, if we had any professionalism, we could slacken the standards for a sec. Get some more. In fact, I could have done that before to help uh, increase our manpower count. Oh, shit. I don't think they'll go straight for the capital. Okay, they're going up here. Need to make sure the garrison restocks. Yeah, okay, you're gonna be fine. But I still won't want to engage in it. Maybe I'll do this, because they'll probably come back over here. Actually, if they want to attack me across the river to take this, that'll be okay. Oh, they left the fort, which they couldn't take before. They didn't have enough numbers. It'd be really great if you decided to come over here once I desiege this. Attack me across the river. farmland with no river crossing and two to one numbers but did they just have I'll have to wait until this pops up here because I don't think we can tell ahead of time unless they're a country with their yeah they have higher base morale and military tactics uh, is it just like they're acting as a higher as a higher military tech I may have to wait until we pop this tech before I go after this last group which is annoying but at least I can do this, and then that'll get desieged over here. Okay, we'll have to live with these guys for a little bit, maybe. At least we got run one of these stats. Well, apparently we could win this if we fought them twice, and maybe the Hungarian ones don't have the same stats. I'd like to go stand here. If they want to attack me into that, that'll be very convenient. I don't know if they will, but they might. 
And then they'll have the river crossing penalty. I mean, we won't be a full strength. We don't have any manpower left either. So we'll consolidate here. Which, yeah, will be 11 regiments, which is going to be fine. Come at me, bro. Or you can you can just wait until I get the military attack. That's also fine. Yeah, you're moving uh, a different way. You're going to move over here. So I will move here, because why not? Come on, baby. Give me that tech. There we go. Okay. Tactics, morale. Yeah, I think that was it. I think they were, they were tech four. Okay, the extra separatism is annoying. Um, no matter what, I'm going to be attacking across the river here, which is less than great. I'm going to stand here, see if they come this way. If they go somewhere else, well, I'll just have to hit them at that point no matter what, because I don't want them to spread more separatism. Now they are going down here. But at least here, I can attack without a river crossing. And now that we've got our military attack, we should be okay. And some free manpower, good. Um, I'll put you on rebel busting. Ooh. That's not bad. Yeah, now all these places are currently fine, actually. So I'll just do this, and then I'll probably just... Well, I might drill you, actually. That might not be a terrible idea. It'd be nice to save on the maintenance, though. Um, what I can do for sure... What I can do for sure is bring down the forts. But yeah, I think I might bring down the army maintenance again. I'll send you in here. Can't have... There's no place I can be, like, super far away from everyone. But we'll try this and then... Bring this down. It's not like you can reinforce anyway. Actually, that brings your income quite nicely. And then we'll drop another temple in here. Try to work on our economy overall. Yeah, that's really rough. Hmm, what is this? Building type. Um, taxes, the pure curia. Clergy and the pape don't like it. Yeah, we'll do this. Oh, no longer a rival. Well, Serbia's gonna hate me no matter what, so I'm just gonna rival them. Done. I'm not spending two bucks per month to do this, so I'm just going to hide that for now. Uh, oh, I have enough points. I can go and... Let's go ahead and state you up. This is all areas we're going to want to fully own at some point regardless, so that's going to have to be okay. So, I have no manpower, so I don't want to start a war. Plus, if I start a war, I'd lose the, um, the nobility thing. Although we are going to run into a problem here in that... Um... Oh! It's like, why, why did I choose to send it to the Mamluks? But no, I didn't choose that. That's my automatic thing for threatening countries, which does seem like a fairly good idea. What's my, um, yeah, we are at 404. Poland is tying up one of those. I don't suppose you've cooled down, huh? Oh, no, right, because, yeah. I'm not going to break the, uh, the wedding. It'll have to happen when we die, unfortunately, which is a while away, because I don't think we're very old. And we got a decent ruler. Although our heir is better, so I would certainly not cry if our ruler had an unfortunate accident. I suppose I could put my ruler... Yeah, let's do this. We're going to put him in charge of this army. So because he's in charge of an army, he's a general and he's on the map, it is going to double the um, chance of dying. Um, however, I think at 30, he doesn't have any death ticks. Don't come into my territory. No, Styrian Separatists won't, shouldn't come in here because I don't think there's any like Styrian cores situation over here or anything like that. Venice has been excommunicated. That is quite interesting. They have a lot of allies. Oh, because they're trade league, I think. And not everyone will jump in on my side, but... Someone else might start some wars against Venice here. And we might be able to jump in opportunistically. I mean, I know that would break our whole estate thing, but... And we have no manpower. Like, it really will have to be we if we just get lucky. You know, they're basically getting stomped by something scary. 
and we just come in and just pick up the crumbs in kind of a cheap way, but we got to do we got to do. Um, oh, because we're allied. Oh, yeah, oh, I think we're, we're getting that, that that's favor from being allied regardless, but it is nice that we can increase that rate. It is actually really handy. Is there anything else I can do? No, it's just, it's just automated improved relations. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lots of people would be interested in alliance potentially with us. I mean, we'd, we'd put it put us over our limits, so I'm not looking to do that. But it's interesting to consider. We can support the independence of Geneva, but we're not looking to do anything like that. Some people are willing to do royal marriages as well, but no. Do some map sharing, but eh. I think we're fine with that. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.